everyone makes filaments and maybe you have used their filaments as well. And they also make 3D printers. And for a long while, it did seem that they quit working on 3D printers, but maybe they didn't. Well, actually they are coming with a brand new 3D printer, the Tinker X400, a very large 3D printer. So let's dive right in in Zach React. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. So let's dive right into the topic of the Ariwan Thinker X400. So this is the page of the Ariwan Thinker X400, a high speed 3D printer for professional large scale production. I don't know what the price from this 3D printer is going to be. And maybe it is only for professionals, but something around the 1400 or 1700 USD because if, if you're looking to how this printer is built, having wheels makes this 3D printer sitting on the ground. Or maybe you do have the possibility that you can remove the wheels from this frame and then put the printer on something like a shelf or something that you have. So a large format 3D printer also says somewhere that this is a fully enclosed 3D printer. Seeing the panels here does seems to be that it's kind of looking like the Creality Ender 6 panels on the side, but not on the top. But then it has an activated carbon filter. I think there is also something going on the top. Having here the, the spool of filament and then going here over the edge and then directly into the hot end. It's a direct drive hot end uh, or a direct drive extruder, meaning that this is a reverse Bowden tube setup, meaning the Bowden tube runs from this part all the way down here. And so it makes it for the 3D printer easier to pull the filament right into the extruder. Yeah, nice doors. These are uh, 4040, so the double size of the 2040s uh, for the bottom. And also here on these sides, and then having on the inside of the 4040 aluminum extrusions, having some linear rails. Yeah, nice screen. And as you can see on the screen, it has clipper inside. Precise and performance redefined. So it's a Core XY, if you didn't know it. It's a Core XY. It does look amazing. I think there are some tensioning knobs on it. Yeah, that does seem to have it. So yeah, the printer volume, it's a 400 times 400 times 400. So bigger size. You still have some room next to the build plate. The printer itself is bigger. I think like 550 or even 600. Yeah, so I see the panels. I don't know if this is a panel. Can I can I zoom in on this? So yeah, th this is a render. Maybe it's it's obvious. Y you see here the, the activated carbon filter. If one side is open, especially from the top, doesn't matter how activated the filter is, it's not going to work. So you have to make sure that it is a fully enclosed in order to suck all the particles and things when you are printing out of the printer and then, you know, let the airflow do the rest and the activated current filter filter all the things that are damaging your health. And as you can see here, the, there are some knobs for tensioning the belts. Yeah, so this printer also have some, some nice cable chains. Uh, also what I like is that they put the models here with also the name from the uh, artist who made it. So that's cool. 0 0.08 to 0 0.32, a layer thickness. So that's nice that they mentioned it here. Layer resolution 0 0.1 up to 35 millimeter cubed per second flow rate. That's cool. So it push out really hard. I see here two, two fans. I th think one is for the hot end the, and the other one is for the parts cooling. That's weird. Yeah, so here you see also the cable chain. Oh, wait, 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 what? Did you see that? So one is for the hot end, then you have a second one and then a third one. So they are using a very <laughs> sophisticated way of cooling this whole thing. Wow. Yeah, just think about it. If you're printing really fast, uh, you need to have, you need to make sure to have a good parts cooling and also for the, the hot end itself, because last thing that you want is having and not functional working print head. And a cable chain, like mentioned, nice cable chain, 0.4 millimeter nozzle. But just imagine that you have also the possibility to upgrade the nozzle for 0.6 or 0.8 or maybe one millimeter. Especially if you're using a bigger scale 3D printer, not always using 0.4 millimeter is that handy. You can go for a bigger size. Just like think about of, of the uh, Elegoo Orange Storm Giga big build plate and then printing with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Doesn't make any sense to me, but you know, <laughs> You can do whatever you want, but I think like 0.4 is the minimum for this printer, but going for a 0.6 or a 0.8 would be more sufficient. Yeah, so this looks nice. Cable chains working here very well, leading the wires, making also that this printer looks very pleasing. 
um, not seeing all the wire mass. Yeah. So Core XY. Who doesn't like Core XY? Uh, up to 500 millimeters per second print speed and up to 10,000 millimeters per second square acceleration. So yeah, Core XY running clipper, it's it's great. It's amazing. It's going fast. They also say here that the, the print time, like six hours and 45 minutes, uh, streamlined workflow. So auto leveling, 25 point grid auto leveling with four independent Z axis, independent Z axis for consistent and reliable first layers. Four independent set axes. So four motors? Okay, so one turns a little bit differently in order to compensate for the leveling. I do want to see how the controller board looks like. I mean, like, wow. Automatic feeding uh, supports automatic filament feeding and filament runout detection. Yeah, nowadays every 3D printer has a, a, a runout sensor, but supports automatic filament feeding. What does that even mean? I mean, like in the way this is set up, you have a probably dual gear extruder, direct drive dual gear extruder, and then it pulls the filament in. So yeah, automatic. But I don't know what everyone is going to do within a couple of months because they mention here supports automatic filament feeding. Like you see on the Bamboo AMS. Management software. The Tinker X400 comes with a 3D printing farm management software for 3D printing production management. So there is a special software that you can run for 3D print farming. So like mentioned, this is a printer for professional use. See also more things that enhance the possibility for, in this case, printing, print farming. Built-in AI camera. So that's cool. A five inch touchscreen, very nice. You clearly can see that, that this is clipper. Very beautiful, very nice. Double-sided PEI sheet, PEI plate. You can use both sides. Would it be on both sides the same kind of surface? Hmm. Safety for worry-free printing. So acrylic shell, fully enclosed acrylic shell ensures safety and reduce noise. Between the 50 and 60 decibels like the NZM canals. Carbon filter, carbon air filter. Uh, the X400 for a cleaner work space. Yeah, this this is the type of machine that you don't put next to your bed or in your bedroom. You don't want to do that. Versatile material compatibility. Yeah, especially with their Airy One filaments, it's it's perfect. I get two emails per almost every day from Airy One. They really they miss me. I think I miss their surprise brand filament. Those very beautiful silk filaments. Please come back with that. Single head direct drive extruder. Nozzle default is 0.4. But it's also, so I, I didn't watch this one before. The nozzle size, a default is 0.4 millimeter, but it also supports a 0.6, 0.8, and 1.0 millimeter. It's a big size printer, so yeah, default 0.4, but you can always upgrade it to a higher or bigger size nozzle so that your prints doesn't take ages in order to print it. The nozzle type is one hardened steel nozzle, and with one spare so you get two nozzles and it's not this this brass kind of nozzle but this is this hardened steel nozzle so better better one so monitoring camera supported filament detection supported <laughs> these are all supported but it doesn't say that it actually has it so always make sure that if you are buying something like this like the monitoring camera it's included in the printer not that you have to buy it so i think that the camera is not included in here and also the filament detection is not included it is supported though but better safe than sorry slicing software is done by orca slicer not every one slicer not a rebranded re you know those those you know those brands that you know make from a slicer something else and then call it their slicer no they are actually going for orca slicer everyone thank you so much so the everyone thinker x400 i think that the printer itself is amazing it's a huge 3d printer um some very surprising things uh that i have seen on this page yeah it's run clipper you can use Orca Slicer for it instead of a rebranded slicing software. I'm very curious about the price. I think that this printer would cost around the 1,400 and 1,700 US dollars. When it is going to be released and that you can buy it, maybe they are going for early January 2025, maybe February. Depends on if they are still encountering some issues. There are going to be some, some people like Loyal Moses and some other content creators that maybe already have this printer and are going to release their review when you can officially buy this 3D printer. I will put the link from the Facebook page right in the description of this video. If you are not subscribed, subscribe, like this video 
and let me know in the comments what do you think about this everyone thinker x400